like walking the back streets of Vegas by yourself because I totally missed my stop and went too far. Had to walk back. Now I missed the bus I was supposed to be on, so now I have to wait another 15 minutes. All because the Ubers here and the lifts here are just freaking chaos leaving the airport. Like, God dang it all. I don't know which is quicker now. I better off just walking at this point. It's ridiculous. Why did I do this to myself? I'm exhausted. I am hungry. I am thirsty. It is 1 a.m. and I have not had dinner. I'm ready for bed. I made it. I want to say we made it, but it's pretty much just me. <laughs> I made it in probably about one o'clock here, which is almost two thirty, three o'clock in the morning, whatever it is. I don't know the time difference, but it was an exhausting day. Everything was pretty much closed as far as restaurants go, so I just picked something up at the like little market cashier store that they have. And went to bed. <laughs> I just got up. It's about 8.30, 9 o'clock here, or my time. And I am going to take the public transit again. This time I'm a little bit more prepared <laughs> to know where I'm going and how the stops work. But I'm headed to Eagle Rider. So let's go. So I don't know if I recommend using public transit. <laughs> When you're in Vegas, doing a rental, it sucks. <laughs> so I got completely turned around, took the wrong bus, went the opposite direction, had to walk the entire length back just to barely make it on the bus to take me all the way down south past the like Las Vegas sign. And it brought me to the shops and now I have to walk another mile and a half to get to Eagle Rider. Thankfully, it's got to about 10 minutes yet, so I'll probably get there like right on time. But I'm exhausted and it's not even nine o'clock and I've got a whole full day of riding today. I'm gonna be exhausted by Sunday. <laughs> I mean, it's worth it, absolutely, but I need to be smarter about the travel. I've got my like walking shoes on and I'm carting my helmet, carting my boots. I'm carting all of my, I don't even know if you can see it, all of my camera gear. So yeah, good workout for today. We're going to sweat before nine o'clock. All right, let's get to Eagle Rider. I am at Las Vegas Eagle Rider today. And I put in my Instagram account whether you wanted me to ride the Heritage or the Road King. Apparently they did not have a Road King. And at one point they didn't even have a Heritage either. <laughs> so I was about to ride a Street Glide. Not a touring one. The Street Glide. But I guess they figured out a way for me to ride a heritage and I'm gonna ride a heritage so I'm not complaining at all but let's get on the road it is like hot as shit right now so this is a 2020 heritage and I need to I forgot a hair tie today shoot all right I need to find some water so let's get on the road. Ready, set, go. Slippery as hell in here. Oh yeah, this is gonna be comfy today. Liking this way better than the low rider yeah, last week. Your feet are out front and it's comfy. 
Ooh, you can feel that heat though. It's gonna be fun today. First stop, gas station. Second stop, out to Zion. Oh, it's nice not to have a backpack. I got bags on this guy. I probably say bags really weird. You guys are gonna have to deal with it. I live in the Midwest. Oh yeah, here we go. I got cruise control? Shoot. I'm living in luxury. Ugh. Where to park, where to park, where to park. So this adorable lady, I don't know, I only made it like 40 miles, guys. <laughs> and I had to pull over at this restaurant. I'm like right by the Valley of Fire State Park, I think. And even that's a whole hour to get in. But I stopped here. And there's a sweet little lady. I like down an entire bottle of Gatorade. And she came over with ice water too. <laughs> so I stayed there for probably about like 5-10 minutes. Just to recoup. Because god I'm exhausted. And this is no joke guys. This is over 100 degrees outside. I can't. I can't get it in neutral. Okay. Let's see if I can start this in first gear because I can't get it in neutral. Oh yeah. Okay, let's keep plugging along because I got over 100 miles yet. <laughs> and I'm in Arizona and a whole crap ton of traffic. <laughs> not fun. <laughs> so I was going through Mesquite. Mesquite, I think is how you pronounce it. And they have construction. So I was going about 20, less than 20 miles an hour. In over 100 degree weather. So I am sweating. Swamp ass is definitely a thing today. Sorry guys. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna need a good shower after I'm done with today's ride. Honestly, I think I can make like 40 miles, then I need to stop, chug a freaking entire Gatorade, and then keep powering through. But this is gonna wear me out very fast. Okay. At least I can say I rode in Nevada, and I rode in Arizona, and I'm about to ride in Utah. Heck yes. It's awesome. Ta -da 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 -da. And the pipes. <laughs> this is another reason why I don't love chrome. Reflection is like, you know when you have those little magnifying glass, and you point them to like the ground to burn something? That's what it's doing to my leg right now. <laughs> it's just, I can feel the exact point where the sun is reflecting off the chrome exhaust and it is not fun. This is cool. Completely different than South Dakota and Wyoming. Like it's just rock. A whole crap ton of rock. Okie dokie. My goal is to get to St. George, which is 25 miles away. And I just saw a sign for Culver's there. And I know when I'm in other new places, different places that we haven't been to before, my husband and I always like to try restaurants that are not available where we are. But guys, I want custard ice cream right now in this hundred maybe 110 I think it is degree heat I've earned it god this is a big ass trailer 
I definitely earned it. So hopefully I can cool off in there, enjoy a butter burger, a sundae, hot fudge and strawberries. My mouth is just going, yes. <laughs> this is insane. I don't know if I would recommend coming out here in August, middle of August actually. Not something I would do again in this time frame, but November, December? Yes. I'm not sure how snowy and cold it gets, but this would be epic for sure. Wow. It just keeps going. And I'm not even into the national parks yet. I know I'm gonna need another full bottle of Gatorade and water before I go any further because, sorry, I had to realize I didn't put my visor down, but that's the only way I can get wind to go up into my face cool me off a little bit. If not, I am in all black. The bike is in pretty much all black and chrome. So it's just reflecting and taking in that heat like nobody's business. Whew. All right, just keep pushing. I feel like this is harder than my iron butt. If anybody tries to do an iron butt now at this point in time during the day, here, I give you so much credit. Woohoo! Utah! That's awesome. Oh, sweet baby Jesus and all things custard. You can't take the Wisconsin girl out of Wisconsin, even though I'm in Utah. <laughs> this is gonna be hot as shit. Woo, nice and warm. Warm, toasty butt. But it's almost after three o'clock already. Or no, no, it's almost three o'clock already. So I have all day today. I just don't know how night riding is gonna be on the way back. So I'm not entirely sure how long I'm going to adventure out. I really wanted to do Zion, Bryce to the Grand Staircase. And up to Mystic Hot Springs and back, but holy crap, that's a lot, that's a lot of hot, hot, hot mileage. And I'm not sure if I'm capable of doing that because I'm still going to the Grand Canyon tomorrow. Like that is, that is my list. So yeah, I might have overshot my, what you call it, but at least get to Zion, Harley Davidson, get to Zion, do some of Highway 9, and see how I feel. So, let's get on the road. The rock formations, like this is a completely different beast compared to Wyoming and Idaho where it felt like more mountains. This just feels like big, massive piles of layers and rocks and I don't even know how to describe it it's just they just go on for miles and miles and each one is completely different it's so so cool to see my body has started to adjust to the heat I believe that or I finally rehydrated because I can I can handle this heat now it's not too bad as I'm moving going 60 that helps but all I have is my leather jacket I don't have a cooling vest I don't have a summer jacket in the summer in Wisconsin this is pretty much all I'll need like and you're and I'm comfortable I can live I live for the heat, so this is good now that I'm finally adjusted, but I could tell my body was just trying to recoup. After last night and, holy shoot, what are you doing, dude? 
after last night of flying in at 11 o'clock, then trying to find transportation to get to the hotel, and that taking the next three to four hours of walking around aimlessly because I don't know the bus transportation. <laughs> And finally hitting my head on a pillow at like 3 a.m. my time. I... <laughs> Whew. Alright, so we are in Zion. Someone pinch me. Kick me. Something. <laughs> this is awesome. It's probably about 110. <laughs> But if I keep moving down, is it Highway 9? Shouldn't be bad, right? Gotta find some epic spots to take pictures though. Oh. Everywhere you look, it's just a completely different formation, which is awesome. Whew, I need to air out though. Hot. I just keep telling myself, but then I'm gonna realize just like it was up in South Dakota, where I just kept going west, and I realize eventually I'm gonna have to come back. <laughs> and that's gonna take some time. But the reason why I am here because I had a handful of moto, like women only moto events planned. And one was the Blacktop Ramble, which is actually out in Torrey, Utah. And that got postponed from June to August and then got canceled completely. So this weekend I technically would have been at that moto event. So I kept all of the babysitter plans and everything else that I had already done. Zion Scenic Drive, what's that? Oh, shoot. Was I supposed to go there? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Should have grabbed a map. But that was my original plan was to do Pretty much Bryce Canyon, Mystics, Hot Springs. Oh, I don't know, there's a ton of stuff all the way out there. But I figured, you know what? I'm gonna still do this. This is something I wanna check off the list. And that shouldn't hold me back from doing that. So here I am. Literally on the south part of Utah. Riding a 2020 Heritage, courtesy of Eagle Rider. Thanks, guys. And making this an epic tri trip despite the hot, hot weather. Dang. I feel so tiny. Any of you guys been out here to Zion on two wheels? Whew. I need to find some shade though. 20 miles an hour. Oh shoot. All right, got to get used to these turns again. Just like last week in South Dakota. I need to go in a lower gear though. Damn. Am I headed all the way up there? I should have looked at this before I <laughs> started rolling through. Oh, 
Ooh, I'm pulling over this shade. Oh, thank God. Okay. Yes. But I, I don't know if it's the bike or if it's me, but I am having the hardest freaking time finding neutral. Like, I can hear it click up. Nope. Take all this stuff off. I mean, look at this. This is incredible. Thank God there's shade. Look at how pretty you look. Hopefully you can cool off too. All right, time to break out the camera for a little bit. And it's like the perfect angle right now too. Gotta show the beauty side. high I'm gonna climb so when I did Beartooth Pass you're up in like 10,000 feet elevation so I'm curious to see I don't need to be in third gear curious to see how high I'll actually go here I'm getting comfortable it's would have been fun on a street glide too but but it made me a little nervous just for my first time being on a street glide. All these sharp turns, at least with the Heritage, is very similar to Fat Boy we have at home. I'm just happy it's not the 20 inch risers. And it's a little bit more of a comfortable stance. I haven't really been hurting at all as far as like riding position goes for this bike. The low rider, thank God for floorboards. I think that's part of the reason why. The low rider had mid controls and it was just rough. Super rough. This is so cool. Turn on lights. Okay, I think my, is that my brights on? crazy. Oh, I had my brights on. Oh, there's more light. Look at that. That's fancy. <laughs> I like hearing the exhaust echo. I just keep looking up. <laughs> to, like can't look up any farther. This is fun. Definitely glad I have a full tank of gas for this. <laughs> Definitely coming back with the kiddos when they're older, of course, we're doing some hikes. Currently not in August, though. That would be great. 